My name is Alyssa Ryan. I'm a registered psychologist at Kells Counseling. I provide individual therapy as well as psychological assessment services. I primarily provide individual therapy as well as interventions between parents and their young people. When I work with my clients, I'm really down to earth. My therapeutic approach is first and foremost, I want to connect with my clients and meet them where they are. When someone comes to see me, the first thing that I do is I listen. I want to understand what has brought them to come and see me and I want to understand what their goals are. And often I help clarify with them, what is it that they're wanting to get out of this? And from there, well, then we work together to make a plan for how do we actually get them moving in the direction that they want to go? How do we help them to live the life that they want to live? So my approach with clients is deeply respectful and warm, it's non-judgmental, and I'm pretty direct. I want to get you where you want to go. Um, so the therapeutic modalities that I draw from primarily are person-centered therapy, dialectical behavior therapy, and EMDR, which stands for eye movement, desensitization, and reprocessing. That's a long name. You don't ever have to remember that. But it is used primarily for trauma and has since been used with all sorts of problems. Basically, it's a really good therapy for helping people get unstuck. So when clients come to see me, um, I like to keep things really tangible and I like them to be able to leave with resources that they can use right away in their life. So a lot of times when people come to see me, they feel really overwhelmed. And so it, I find it really important to make the information that I give my clients really tangible, really concrete, and really accessible. So clients who come to see me will often leave with little physical items or lots of handouts about whatever we talked about that day so that they can review that, they can remember it, and um, access it in a simple way. Um, especially when I work with kids, we do all sorts of things in a really tangible way and we make things concrete. So often with kids, we make things and while we make it, we talk about it, we learn something, we practice, and then the child leaves with that item and they have a way to remember it. I tell them, go teach your brothers and sisters and your parents about it. And that becomes like, they get to be in that spot of kind of being an expert then and they really enjoy that too. Some of my favorite parenting books are How to Talk So Kids Will Listen and Listen So Kids Will Talk. That's a great book. Another really great one is No Drama Discipline. Another really great one actually for um, teenage girls. Um, I know that that can be a stage and I work a lot with teenage girls and their parents come in kind of like deer in the headlights, like what am I doing? Um, a book, it's called Untangled. And that's a really great one. And another one called Brainstorm by Dan Siegel. For other resources, more general kind of relationship resources um, are Boundaries, Where You End and I Begin by Anne Catherine. That's an excellent resource. Anything by the Gottman Institute and Gary Chapman are really great for relationships. And the book I'm reading right now that I'm really enjoying is about completing the stress response and just really knowing how to take care of ourselves in our modern world and has lots of modern science. And it's like really approachable, so I really enjoy it. It's called Burnout and that's by Amelia and Emily Negoshi. Mm -hmm.